People saying they'd rather get cancer, they'd rather die than go back to get an endometrial biopsy. What is, what is that saying? Trauma that happens during and after an endometrial biopsy that nobody talks about. Something I haven't really talked about with you guys yet is how it affected my mental health, how it affected my nervous system. When I had that biopsy done, a very traumatic experience while I was awake with no pain medication, no preparation whatsoever. My body went into such shock during the procedure. Not only was I in and out of consciousness, but my nervous system just was shot. After the procedure, I was shaking and just trying to get my body out of fight or flight. I wound up going to the ER because I was having some stroke-like symptoms and I realized that my nocturnal panic attacks came back. So basically you get panic attacks in your sleep. They have been back full on since my endometrial biopsy. I'm going through my comments and I'm seeing all these women and these girls saying, I don't want to go back to the GYN after this procedure. This is why I don't go back because every time I go, I'm traumatized and it's so painful and it takes me forever to recover. There's women saying, I've never mentally recovered from that procedure. I am putting full blame on these doctors and nurse practitioners. I am putting full blame on all of you clinic in California. The only thing that saved me, um, thank God, because I'm a licensed massage therapist, this is what I use. This is Dolphin Neurostim. Um, thank God I'm a technician and I have this at home. I've been doing the Vegas nerve therapy every night before I go to bed and thank God, knock on wood, I have not been getting them since I've been using these. If I did not have this on hand, I probably would have had to go back on medication and I would have been a fucking mess. It's the only reason I'm surviving right now. I'm not even exaggerating. Highly recommend that for any kind of anxiety, depression, anything that has your body in fight or flight, if you suffer from panic disorder. I just want to stress that yes, these procedures are really fucking painful and yes, there needs to be pain management offered to us. We do need to be briefed. It's so important, but not only for the physical pain that we're feeling, but what happens after that? I'm terrified to go back to the, the GYN. I'm actually terrified. I have a uterine fibroid that I need to get removed. I had to have all of these just traumatizing experiences to get this removed. There has to be a better way. We deserve better.